Okay, it's four o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep and I came across this news release from the Mormon Church and I think it's inspired and uh, brilliant. And it's the kind of threading the needle that Jesus did in the scriptures. Um, what they've done with the Boy Scouts of America decision is they've explained a little bit more, and you might want to go to this link because I'm going to go through it, how they are, are working this decision with our own standards. And, um, you know, you may want to politicize everything, but for me, religion is still about faithfulness, um, not only to principles in God, but also to the leaders. First of all, the church says, that for the hundred years, hundred years, that they've been involved in scouting, and you know, most of you should already know that that LDS, Mormons, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, um, are heavily involved in the Boy Scouts and maybe its largest supporter. So the church, the church is able to thread this needle by allowing men who who consider themselves gay but haven't acted out homosexual behavior to belong to an LDS troop. Now before you get all crazy on me, I have been to um, reparative therapy sessions where half the, the men who came to this had never acted out had never done anything homosexual, but they thought maybe they were. Parenthetically also, I got a note from a 13-year-old boy who said, Oh, I'm so angry about the church and its decision not to allow gay leaders. Um, and, I, and I wrote back and said, Look, 95% of young boys who experiment with some kind of sexual behavior at that age Go on in life and self-identify as straight, okay? So the church is saying here in, in its second paragraph that young men who abide, who abide by church standards, I got a little list because I chipped my tooth. I'm getting that fixed next week. So you can call yourself gay but you can't act out in a in an LDS Boy Scout troop. So this is really cool. There's not going to be any gays. I mean, you, you know, you may have a, a same-sex attraction, but th the acting gays aren't going to be there. So your church might want to consider this. It's really a, f a fabulous fabulous way to take a stand for yourself but not dictate to the, what the Boy Scouts are doing. They say in the same public service uh, news release, we trust, now this is from the first presidency of the church, we trust that the Boy Scouts will implement and administer the approved policy in an appropriate and effective manner, which means that the option is still open that if we can't thread this needle, if they won't hold this, this steady, we're out of there. There's this little booklet um, that is a standard, it's called For the Strength of Youth, and it says that one of the standards that has to be upheld by people, by young boys who participate in the church's Boy Scout program, includes abstinence from sexual relationships. We remain firmly committed to upholding these standards and to protecting and strengthening boys and young men. It may sound complicated. The ruling the Boy Scouts of America came down with was you can, you can be a gay Boy Scout, but you cannot be a gay Boy Scout leader. Now, a lot of people didn't like that, and I myself have to say I was a little bit confused. I am now further enlightened, okay? Because in the LDS troops, Boy Scout troops, you can be gay, you can call yourself gay, you just can't act on it. And that happens to be the policy of the church anyway. 
Because there's so many boys that go through this phase and then they grow out of it. So the BSA may have gone gay in some ways, but the Mormon church stays straight.